Hey guys, welcome to my OBS tutorial video part number two. In this tutorial, we'll explain you guys how to put on the right scenes, the right sources, and how you can, for example, put in different games, different text, and all that kind of stuff. Now, the first thing you do whenever you have OBS open is you will see that there is like a scene. Now, this is like a profile, you can call it. In the profile, you can put sources, which is, for example, your webcam, your game, whatever you want. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on the empty field sources. Then you will have an option to choose add. Now here you can see the certain things you are able to add in this kind of program to live stream. Now um, the first thing for example I want to show you guys and that's because I'm a gamer myself. Um, how can you live stream your game? Now at the bottom you can see it says game capture so we're going to click on that. It will ask you to give it a name. Now why why I think it's really useful for example to call this one World of Warcraft. Whoa because I'm going to show it like how I'm gonna live stream the, the game World of Warcraft so I give in whoa I click OK then you get this screen and in this screen you can choose the option like what is the application you actually want to show or you want to live stream now at this point I only have World of Warcraft open so it only will give me this option normally you have more so you need to choose the right one then below there you will get a few options um, scratch the image to the screen I think I've been trying messing around with it some games have these black bars in the bottom or on the sides and I think it's shit so if you turn on the scratch stretch image to screen it will like make it completely perfectly filled on all the sides and um, by my experience it doesn't make the game look crap it doesn't make it look crap at all actually you can't even notice it in my opinion um, you can ignore the aspect ratio it's your option if you want to turn it on or off um, just mess around with that as well capture mouse cursor now <laughs> if you're a world of walker of a dude and um, you're actually clicking on skills and you don't want the people to bother you for that uh, you could like turn this one off so that people can't see it um, I don't know this is just the first thing that comes up in me invert cursor on click no idea what it does you have to test it just click on ok whenever you selected the right application now here at sources you will see one bar saying whoa so now you will know that this one is actually going to show you World of Warcraft. But now you might think like, wait, how can I actually know if it's working? They have a really cool option here. It's named Preview Stream. Whenever you click on this, you're not going live, but you will just see on your OBS how it actually looks at that point. So I'm going to click on Preview Stream. And as you can see, I get the complete game. Even though it's windowed, I don't see the window. I just get the game right here. So at this point, I can see like, okay, this is working perfectly. And the right button, I can see it's running on 45 FPS because that's my settings that I did. And yeah, it looks at this point really good. Now, of course, if you want to do more things, you want to add something funny or a text or something, you can just right click on the white field in sources again. You go to add again. And let's for, say, for example, we're going to try to add um, some text why not we're gonna call this welcome because we're gonna say welcome I don't know uh, the color of the text you just I don't know you click on the black box and you will have an option to choose any color you want I'm gonna choose blue I'm just gonna click OK here I can enter my text I'm just typing something welcome hey guys and now this is the thing you have the option to uh, choose how big the letter size you want to have the font size it's called um, now what I always do is I just keep clicking it and holding it until it goes bigger but the thing is you don't see it at the screen yet so what I always do is I just type the text I want I click OK and at this point I will have to see where the F my text is oh yeah wait the, the reason why I don't see my text is this reason I'm gonna explain that right now um, the the, the scene you put in the top will be the scene that is on the like most front layer so whenever I have a text on the second layer and my World of Warcraft is running you don't see it so what I need to do now is to just select it right click it and then choose the option move to the top now as soon as I clicked it here in the top you can see the letters maybe it's a little bit small I'm gonna make it bigger now what I do is right click it again I go to properties and now I just hold the button up to get a bigger font size and as you can see the text is instantly getting bigger um, I always used to just do it like this so I can check like okay this is the size I want um, maybe I want to use an outline so that it's like more better looking whatever you want you can also make the text uh, move like all the options are here you can just play around with this as well 
these are just the default settings I want to have a text I want to give it a color and I maybe want to use an outline here I can say I want to have it bold and you will see it becomes bold there I just click OK now there it is maybe you don't want the text right there you can click here on edit scene and then you just select for example my welcome text that I made and you will see a red square bar around it now you can move this so it's a little bit like XSplit the only thing is if I want to move the World of Warcraft screen the best thing is you can do is to go to source select World of Warcraft and you will see instantly a really small red line about around World of Warcraft and I can move World of Warcraft so this is how, I, how you actually put your stuff at the right position the only thing is if I would stretch it out here uh, and you have a really small font size and you're gonna stretch it out it's gonna look really pixelated so make sure if you want to have a bigger text you actually increase the font size um, so this is everything regarding making a text um, let's see something else we can do okay guys now I'm gonna explain you guys how you can add your webcam and how you maybe if you have it can use your chroma key now the first thing I do is right click on the white field sources again I go to add and I choose the option video capture device now I'm gonna give this the name for example webcam because that makes the most sense and then here you will get a screen where it says which device now at the moment I'm using this Logitech to record this screen right now so I can't use it, this uh, webcam so I'm gonna choose a second webcam that I have and um, here you will have the option to flip images you can change the opacity and um, the custom resolution I think that is good because um, I have a HD webcam and sometimes it gets super huge and then I have to like I don't like the the resolution of it so I can always like put on custom resolution and give it a different size if I like it more uh, you can also change the FPS um, let's just say that I'm just gonna leave it like this I'm gonna click OK and as soon as I click OK it is not gonna show my webcam you do see the red lines why that's good you have been listening very well it's indeed not in the top layer maybe none of you actually noticed it again but see I just I actually have to add first the webcam then the text and then the game but in this way I'm just gonna right click it I'm gonna move it to the top and here you will see my face with a green screen now um, I'm just gonna use this I'm just gonna use it like this to just show you guys what you have to do right now um, you're gonna right click on the webcam you're gonna go to properties again and then here it says use chroma key now you're just gonna turn it on and then it says which color do you want to have because we need to know what what we have to, to change which which color because now your webcam looks horrible so I'm just gonna click select I'm gonna click my green screen and as you can see it's instantly actually changing stuff already on the green screen and um, now you actually have to play around with these three options you can put it higher if you want the similarity see now it's already getting way better if I would use the webcam a little bit lower now well like my hat is not completely fitting you can use the option blend like blend this I don't know completely what they do like look at me I'm just playing around with it but by by changing these numbers actually you can try to figure out what is the best fitting um, combination of numbers you can have now I know that similar similarity is gonna like check which kind of green colors are similar to each other and he's gonna just all chroma key them but if you do it too much for example now you see my my microphone is getting crazy so you have to change like change other things um, I could spend minutes like long about fixing this thing perfectly but I want to show you guys how you can turn it on and how you can turn it off so for this again make it a game you guys just play around with it until you have it just the way you want it um, that's how you actually configure your webcam and how you put on green screens um, it's the same thing with the edit scene if I click it once I click on my webcam I can just change the size of it um, make sure when you're done with it you just turn off the edit scene I don't know if it's actually getting shown on the live stream I don't think so though but um, yeah I think this is the options uh, you need for your live stream if there is anything else for example an image uh, it's gonna be exactly the same if you want to um, let's see a text we already did image slide so you, you just have to use the, the same thing you're just gonna click pictures for example and now I just have to add a certain file I want to add in it and then you can already like the time between images it's all really easy once you know it just make sure that once you created this you have to select it again and then for example right click move to the top if you don't see it instantly because you are working with different layers 
Now, the last thing I want to tell you guys is the scenes. For people who don't understand the scenes right now, we just had all these settings here. If I want to change one more thing, for example, but I want to try another game, I can right click on the white field in scenes, I can add a scene, I can, and I can call it, for example, add scene 2. Now, whenever I click this, everything is gone. Why? Because this is a, a, like a different chapter with different settings. When I click scene, the first scene I had, oh, sorry. When I click the first scene I had, you just see the, the old things we just did. On scene 2, I can make something like be right back 15 minutes guys. And whenever you're back, you're just going to click scene 1 and it will automatically load your scene 1. Um, yeah, so far, this is all I've, I've done myself with OBS. I'm still trying, like I'm still working on some stuff. I have some really cool ideas on how to make your live stream look really cool. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial guys, don't forget to thumbs up. If you like what I do, just subscribe to my channel. It's free and it helps me a lot guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in tutorial number three. See you guys.